Ladies and gentlemen, would you please uh, find your tables and have a seat? We would like to uh, begin our program so we can then begin our dinner hour. Um, I would like to invite Father Metoxas to do our invocation. Father Metoxas. Good evening to all. Welcome to the Hellenical Council Center, which is next to the Greek Orthodox Church. And at this time, with your kind understanding and permission, I would like to mention something to you that I think will be proper. One of the inductees, Mr. John Lebracus, is the grandson of Reverend Jovianos Lebracus, who was the first priest in this parish here. And by Selecting him also to be honored this evening, you honored my church and my community, and on behalf of the entire parish, I thank you all. <laughs> Let us take a moment to lift up our eyes and be united with our Heavenly Father, whom we need, especially these times, more than any other time. <clears throat> Let us pray. O Lord, our God, as we gathered this evening to honor seven distinguished athletes and retired headmaster of Watertown High School, Mr. James Cavanaugh. We thank you, Lord, for their valuable and inspiring contributions to our community. They distinguished themselves as athletes in various sports, as athletes serving courageously their country, and as athletes giving their best in a humane way, serving their fellow citizens with love and respect, regardless of their faith, color, or background. They became the models of many young people of these past years. Help, O Lord, also the youth of today to be inspired by their lives and to help them to develop spiritual values and good character and be true athletes in every aspect of their everyday life. Finally, we ask you, Lord, to grant to all the honorable inductees and their families many years of good health, prosperity, and happiness. And bless these thy gifts, which are about to partake in their honor, and bless each one of us and keep us always under your divine providence and loving care in peace, in good health, and in unity. Amen. Thank you, Thank you Father. And uh, if we could have the lights, we will begin our dinner hour. And uh, lights, please. 
Watertown High School class of 1961, presently the principal at Woolman High School. Can we uh, stop the music? Because I am the uh, principal at Woolman High School. He, uh, a lot of you uh, hockey fans will recognize him as the absolutely the best uh, color uh, uh, person in, uh, in the world. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Master Sony, Bobby Norton. Uh, but at 60 going on 61, my wife thinks it's a uh, little too old for Bobby. At any rate, uh, for all of my friends here tonight who have, uh, I'm struggling with a little uh, back problem, but uh, most of my friends saw a great deal of sympathy and referred to me as Chester. Uh, those of you who are a little bit older will understand that. Uh, we're going to have a video here of the year in review at Watertown High School, and I just want to tell you, I, I just, uh, somebody who sees it from the other side, as a principal of Woburn High School, I just see a, a resurgence of athletics here under the uh, leadership of Wayne Perry. So I see the basketball team obviously has been terrific, but uh, whoever's coaching that baseball team is doing a whale of a job because those kids are just around the corner for being really good. Absolutely. And I was impressed with the uh, football coach. I think he's going to do a good job, and they're doing some things with the junior high school program to get some numbers out here. And, and uh, for those of us who really uh, Bleed a little red and white when I see those Woburn Watertown games. I should just tell you, I uh, never root against Watertown. They happened to watch them the other day and they licked us. And uh, it was sort of, uh, I don't want this to get back to Woburn, but it was sort of uh, nice to see a program that had been down the dumps play as well as they played the day they beat us over here at Victory Field. So we're going to, with that spirit in mind, yes, we're honored to have them. First of all, uh, State Representative Rachel Caprizzi. Rachel? Guy uh, who's done a great job, uh, one of the uh, winningest hockey coaches in the history of college hockey. He did go to that sissy school, BC High. Uh, didn't have a oompa to come to Watertown High. But a great friend of mine and ours, uh, Jeremiah, you are, Jerry? When any of those Yorks had a decent athlete, though, they sent them to Watertown High. Uh, I'd like at this time to introduce a distinguished guest who's here for another reason, but he's become a fixture in town long before he was a fixture in statewide office. And he and I uh, have, have a friendship of 40 years. It began uh, in 1965 when we both worked together in Washington, D.C. The Attorney General of the Commonwealth, Tom Riley. side of the gene pool that got Megan in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> uh, I think we've got a, a rejuvenation of Watertown High School athletics and I would like to call upon for a special presentation our athletic director, Elaine Parity. Elaine? In appreciation for all that Bob Caprillion does, Bob, would you come up here please? Robert, yes, a little surprise. For all you do for Watertown Sports, Mr. Bob Caprillium, I'm proud to present to you this Raider Pride Watch because you truly are the voice, the heart, and the soul of Watertown Athletics. Thank you so much. standing on the sidelines. <laughs> but I the effort to be out there is, he comes over to Watertown, to Woburn High, and he said, I need a spotter. Now, this is a private enterprise. You know, who do you, who do you think pays some kid 75 bucks to spend to be a spotter for the game? Me, comes out of the Woburn High Penny Cash Fund. But nonetheless, the commitment to Watertown sports is clear and, and clear. Before we, uh, show what is every year the highlight of our evening. I would like to pause here to reflect on uh, four folks who passed away over the course of the year.
first of all, the Hall of Fame inductee, Coach Arthur Perkins, who was an art teacher and art head of the art department for many years. He worked on public schools and an extremely successful track coach. Nick Pappas, teacher, coach, advisor, somebody who gave many, many hours of service to the Watertown Schools and was a member of this Hall of Fame Board of Directors. And one of the great hockey players in the history of Watertown High School, Arthur Shannon. And also John Moxley, who photographed, photographed this induction ceremony every year since 1992. If we could please pause in a moment of reflection and sound for Arthur Perkins, Nick Pappas, Arthur Shannon, and John Moxley. 